In this video, we will cover the installation of the SureSpeed meter and delivery system on a John Deere Maximerge 2 and Maximerge Plus row unit. Due to the construction of these row units, high speed planting is not recommended. Damage to the row unit can occur due to the increased forces acting on the row unit with increased travel speed. When installing SureSpeed on these row units, use caution to operate at the travel speed appropriate for your planting conditions and planter setup. Before you begin, verify you have all the required parts indicated in your installation instructions. First, we will start by removing any of the applicable parts from the row unit. Gauge wheels, scrapers, opening disc, seed meter, seed firmer, seed tube guard, and any wiring harnesses. Next, we will install new parallel arm hardware for the SureSpeed meter. Remove the upper rear parallel arm bolt, nut, washer, and bushing. It is recommended to only remove one side of the row unit at a time. Reinstall with the new parts located in the hardware bag. Only the OEM parallel arm bushing and outside washer will be reused. Repeat this process for the opposite parallel arm. Next, we will install the seed tube guard. Check to ensure shank panels are no wider than 3 eighths of an inch apart. If the panels are spaced wider than 3 eighths of an inch, use a C-clamp to bring within tolerance. Verify there is at least 3 sixteenths of an inch of material around the holes. Use a 3 eighth inch drill bit to drill out both seed tube guard mounting holes. A step drill bit is recommended, but a standard drill bit will work. Slide the new seed tube guard between the panels on the bottom of the shank. Hammer or press the supplied roll pins into the guard and shank. It is recommended to use red Loctite or equivalent to help secure the roll pins. Install the seed tube guard wing by gently pinching the rear of the wings and pushing it onto the guard. The seed delivery rail will be installed next. Start by removing any dirt or debris from the inside of the shank. Insert one spacer sleeve on each side of the delivery rail. Slide the delivery rail from the top of the shank until the lower hook on the rail is engaged with the lower shank pin. Be sure to visually confirm engagement. Next, install the clevis pin and hairpin clip through the top of the delivery rail. The delivery rail should not be able to be removed once the pin is installed. Next, install the SureSpeed delivery tube. Slide the delivery tube in from the top of the shank until it is resting on the delivery rail spring and is inside the seed tube guard wing. Connect the row can cable to the delivery tube motor at this time. Next, we will assemble the SureSpeed meter onto the seed hopper. First, install the plastic standoff on the rear of the box hopper. Secure with four of the quarter inch by three quarter inch bolts. Ensure all four bolts have been started before tightening to verify hole alignment. Next, slide the front pivot adapter into place on the meter. Position the seed meter on the box hopper. Ensure that the meter is positioned properly by verifying the four bolt holes are aligned and the tab on the meter is interfacing with the tabs on the box hopper. 
Install four quarter inch by three quarter inch bolts to attach the meter to the box hopper. The sure speed meter will be installed next. Install the meter and box hopper onto the bushings we previously installed. Connect the rogue hand cable to the meter motor. Lock the hopper box and meter into place with the latch. Adjust the latch location to obtain desired latch tension and tighten the hardware. Leaving the latch loose may cause the meter to bounce and cause performance issues. Lastly, install the vacuum elbow provided. Cut the existing vacuum hose to the desired length. Install the new vacuum elbow onto the hose. Please note the elbow has left hand threads. Push the elbow onto the meter. Some John Deere vacuum hose is smaller than others. If hose diameter is smaller than 1.64 inches, silicone will be needed to seal between the hose threads and elbow threads. Now you will be able to successfully install a sure speed meter and delivery system on a John Deere Maximerge 2 or Maximerge Plus row unit. If you'd like to see more short tutorials from AgLeader, please subscribe to our YouTube channel.